Principal Painter, and this evening I'm doing part two of my retreat haul. This is going to be so fun. Um, oh, what did you, uh, you dropped your Marlin, Marlin. Oh, sorry, I was... Mm -hmm. Eating your Laffy Taffy from Sue. I was not eating my <clears throat> Laffy Taffy. I was not. Oh, okay. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Okay. <laughs> So the first thing I have to show you is I got this postcard and I showed this last night. Um, Craft with Coffee with Chris and Kel. They're the sweetest girls. I loved meeting them. They're sisters. And they left this on our uh, crafting tables uh, when they left. They had to leave early for, I believe, California. And um, got a Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel uh, pen along with this cute postcard. Thank you so much, Chris and Kel. That was awesome. Another thing that I got, okay, well, let's talk about this cover minder. I'm not sure where I got this cover minder, but it's a cute lollipop. Hang on, I haven't unfagged it. That one on the floor, but isn't that cute? Cute little lollipop, love it. This was another item I got from my Secret Santa, and it's supposed to be a makeup brush holder or makeup stuff, but you can put your diamond painting pens in it and they stand straight up. I love it. I will be using this. Thank you, Secret Santa. How many holes are in that? Like you'd have to buy a lot of diamond painting pens. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I have enough to fill this and two more. Exactly. Right? <laughs> no more. <laughs> and I wanted to call your attention to these beautiful bags that my wonderful Secret Santa boxed all of my stuff up in. Are they not beautiful? I mean, they're all coordinated and they're so pretty. Just wanted to show you guys. So pretty. I'm so thankful for my gifts. Okay, so I talked about Robin's patty wax in all of our swag bags. Not only did she do the blue agave patty wax, let me smell it one more time. Oh, so good. Um, she also put in this keychain, and this keychain is awesome because you can put a little uh, container of hand sanitizer in it and it holds your keys. And I have another one of these, so um, I love it. And um, so thank you, Robin of Patty Wax, again for your contributions to the retreat. You're awesome. Don't ask me where I got this, but I'm going to use it because it is bright and sparkly and we as diamond painters we like all things bright and sparkly right so it's a wristlet you can put on your wrist sorry about the nails brandy is sending me more um but you can put your keys on it and you've got it as a wristlet and look how sparkly can they see it mm -hmm. all right Loved that. Don't ask me where I got it. I can't remember. I got so much stuff, guys. I, I, I just can't even remember. I believe Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment put this in our swag bags. It's an awesome little treat. First of all, I don't know where this actually came from, but you can put it down over. It is a light, uh, it's a light pad switch cover. So you don't keep hitting the off button on your light pad. And so you can slide it to turn it off, slide it to turn it on. But when you're diamond painting, you put the cover over it and you're good to go. And you don't hit the uh, light pad button. All right, a Michigan sticker. This is going on my computer. It is. I loved Michigan. And when I get into my mugs, I'm gonna tell you the only regret I had about going to Michigan. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is another Tina. DP with sparklers.com. Oh, I don't want to misspeak and say that, but oh, shine bright with DP with sparklers.com. I'm actually finishing up my Sherry Baldy diamond painting and blinging her out with some uh, DP with sparklers from Tina. Oh no. This is from Enablers Outpost. Wait, let me show you the right side. Look, they stamped the tissue paper with their cute picture. <gasps> what did I get? Oh yeah. It's a Great Lakes cover minder. I will treasure that always. I loved my trip to Michigan. Again, there are just so many goodies. I can't even begin to remember where I got all of this from. 
Everyone was so nice and so sweet. So let me get back into my Mickey Joe stash. So Mickey Joe, again, 70s throwback. You remember from last night, I showed you, you know, the Osmond family, Michael Jackson, Sean Cassidy, David Cassidy. So part of her throwback 70s box included a light bright. Did anyone else play with a light bright? I sure did. So it's a mini light bright. Is that not awesome? Oh, love it. And she also sent me a secret, super secret diary. It comes with keys, a lock, so no one will ever know my deepest, 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 darkest thoughts. Again, I tried to say deepest and darkest together. Mm -hmm. um, it came with two keys, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. I mean, Nobody I'll but me. Probably <laughs> give Marlon the spare. Oh my God. I took the love quiz with David Cassidy. Okay. Right. Give me that key, girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is a super secret diary, except for Marlon can get into it. Mm, exactly. <laughs> All right. So before I get to the diamond paintings that I'm going to unbox rather quickly, so this video doesn't go 20 hours, I got these beautiful poster hangers and these did come from my secret Santa. I know they did. And so I'm going to try. Can you pan them in on that yeah. picture? Just move her closer. Move okay. her closer. Down. There you go. Perfect. That is how you can hang a diamond painting. And one of, you know, the top comes with a chain that you can hang it on a wall. So I'm excited to use both of these. This will be, again, for two diamond paintings. That's awesome. This was the ultimate. Well, I don't know. My Craftably mug from Michael and Amy. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. So again, this came in that big box. I removed the big box because it was too big, but yeah, we all got a Craftably mug. <gasps> Ooh. Love my Craftably. Okay, this is a friend's mug and it may look plain to you right now, but it says friends at the top. But when you put hot liquid in it, it changes. And of course, really? my favorite saying from Joey on Friends is, how you doing? How you doing? So I don't, oh, so if it's cold, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so if the liquid you put in your mug is cold, it comes up as, how you doing? Like that. And if it's hot, it completely takes over the mug and says, how you doing? Like that. So that's going to be fun to, oh, I'm going to have to start using that, Marlon. Mm -hmm. uh, when I make your coffee tomorrow morning. I'm we will gonna, use it. We will use it. <clears throat> yeah, you can leave it out. I'm going to okay. put it next to the coffee pot. And okay. So I will. I won't do the, vo I won't do the voice. I promise. <laughs> no, he's going to get up at 630 in the morning, get my coffee and go, how you doing? I am not going to say that. I promise. All right. So again, this is kind of a mug. This is kind of a mug video, but. I had to get this when I was in Indiana with Fantastic Painters. I said, you've got to take me to a Starbucks. And they're like, why? And I said, because I want a mug. And they're like, what do you mean a mug? I said, there is a Been There series from Starbucks. And I have Starbucks mugs from around the world. There have been teachers that have come into my office and said, Kara, I'm so sorry, but I have a opportunity to go to the Bahamas with my husband on a trip and it's, I'm going to be gone a week. What do you think? And I'm like, uh, I'm fine with it. The only thing you have to do is one thing. I will pay you back for it. You've got to find me the Starbucks mug, you know, from Aruba, from, I mean, I have them from India, from Australia, from, I mean, just around the globe, but you have to be in the place where they sell these mugs. So this is Indiana and, uh, <laughs> Brenda and Crystal were like, there really is an Indiana mug? I'm like, oh yeah. So I walked into a Starbucks and here we are. And they were like, oh God, popcorn. I mean, they knew all about this. So there are symbols. I mean, this is Abe Lincoln. They knew all the symbols from Indiana. The only regret I had about going to Michigan is I never made it to a Starbucks to get a Michigan mug. So I may have to coerce Mindy or, yeah, someone else that lives in Michigan to send me one because everywhere I go, I get one of these mugs. Right, Marlon? Every single time. Oh, yes. So, that's my Indiana mug. All right. Now, let's get into these diamond paintings, okay? 
The first one, I believe someone was de-stashing. And I liked it, and I really tried hard, folks, really tried hard to stay away from the de-stashing cable because I probably need to de-stash. Don't ask Marlon if I need to or not. Yes, she does. <laughs> so they brought these diamond paintings that they weren't going to do. And again, I got this beautiful special drills tree. Uh, got this actually in honor of Mindy and Brandy doing their, you know, de-stashing or the smashing the specials in August. So that's going to be fun. And sometimes again, when you get done with a huge diamond painting, you just want to be able to kit up and do this and I mean, there are just all kinds of special shapes, special drip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait just a minute. Sorry, crinkling. I don't think I've seen. Oh, well, there, there are two in here that I haven't seen. Check these out. Look at these domes. They're like, they're big and they've got just a rainbow. Oh, okay. I may have to go through these. Sorry, folks. Look at these blue marquees, as Mindy calls them, slivers. We can't live without slivers in the specials. Oh, there's a teardrop with the same coating on them as the rounds. Oh my goodness. Another beautiful pink teardrop. Another pink. Oh, then we get into the rhinestones, but look at the gold. That's another one I have not ever used, and there appears to be a lot of it. I bet it's V. What do you want to bet it's V? Because there's a lot of V on that painting. And then some more rhinestones. Again, I'm not trying to keep you for 12 hours. So, oh, this back to the container. How's everyone doing on this Thursday night? Guess what? I'm a happy girl. This is my official retirement date. Official. I'm Yay. retired. Woohoo! Um, basic toolkit, again, wax, baggies, boat, pen, done. So let me put this back together. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Okay. The next one I want to share with you, and again, I'm getting out very carefully, my Melly Machete. Okay, so everyone knows that Tina Burney, DP uh, for Sparklers, is now starting to sell diamond paintings. I did not get to see this one finished. It doesn't mean it wasn't finished on the retreat. However, I didn't get to see it finished and I didn't really care because I loved it so much. And you can see the box is branded. You know that Sparklers logo, shine bright with, again, www.dpwithsparklers.com. She's already linked down below. I just tell Marlon, just put all the links in. Just make sure people see it. Okay, so the interesting thing about her diamond paintings is they come with what I call mixed media. And mixed media is regular drills, sparklers, and ABs. So we'll see what we get with this one. I haven't seen this one unboxed, but I loved it and I got it. I'm out. And again, I know it's poured blue, so let me roll it back for you. Um, it's a nice quality canvas. Again, it feels canvassy, but it's not too stiff. I'm able to roll it back very easily, which is nice as well. I'm still looking for some diamond paintings, folks. I'm going to do a video on this, but yeah, Marlon. Um... Okay. Marlon, um, what? <laughs> Left. My diamond paintings in a hot garage oh, come on. for a week. Gosh, I know we he was he was again. trying to help me pack. I love my husband more than anything. Thank okay, you. so let me show you <laughs> what it is. <laughs> let me just like do you this. Don't, like you don't have enough Look anyway. at that picture. Is that not beautiful? Don't it's a stained that. glass butterfly. Okay, Great, um, Great it's part. gorgeous. And 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42 colors, 42 colors. And I am, again, 
you got 211 AB, 444 AB, 995 AB, L9, I think the L's are special drills. I don't know what the M stands for, but we'll get into it in just a second. Okay, let's check out this canvas. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at those two. Wow, those are big. That is absolutely beautiful. I love flowers, butterflies, all things pretty. And don't these colors make you happy? It just makes me happy. I love it. And again, get on her site because again, she's listing these and they're gonna go quick because of all of the special effects that, sorry, I have too many things on my Oh, table. How you doing? And in your closet. Craftably. And in your drawers. And... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marlon was talking earlier today and he's like, we're quickly outgrowing your crafting space. And I'm like, well, we just moved in, so. We're about to move out. Jeez. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the colors. Again, I don't want to keep you guys for 20 hours, but they're beautiful. I mean, just happy colors. Look at those blues and pinks inks and reds and rhinestones. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> to do this one. And it shouldn't take very long. Where are the dimensions? Oh, yes, it's a 50 by 70. So it's big, but not like horrible. So put these back in, put those to the side. But yeah, this is one of them. And again, I did not get to see it done. Doesn't mean it wasn't there done, but I just didn't get to see it done. But I saw it and had to have it. Love it. Love it. And again, nice color inventory sheet with uh, directions on diamond painting, which is nice. And lots of ABs and lots of rhinestones. And again, basic toolkit again. The wax, the boat, with a funnel, a pen, and your baggies. So, Tina, love you, T-Maw. Awesome. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you, and this is the last thing in the box. Um... When I was at Crystal and Brenda's, Brenda and I were talking, and we were talking about Chuck Pinson, and we were talking about Hannah Lynn. And I said, I really wanted this diamond painting, and I can say this because my security guard is not gonna watch my videos, and if he does, I'll be shocked, but it's okay, I'll ruin the surprise for him. But um, I said, I really, really wanted Space for Reflection by Chuck Pinson, um, my security guard is retiring in a couple of years and I wanted to be able to do something special for him because again, he's a major part of my life and I adore him and his wife. Um, so she's like, well, I've got space for reflection by Chuck Pinson. She, she goes, I'm not going to probably not going to do it. She said, there's only one Hannah Lynn I don't have. And guys, you know me by now, I'm not a collector of one artist. I love a lot of artists, but I don't have to have every single one from one artist. I like being eclectic, I like bringing in different stuff uh, and just buying what I like. So she said, I don't have Mother Earth. I said, I do. And she went, I'll trade ya. I said, deal. So I sent her Mother Earth by Hannah Lynn and she sent me space for reflection. And I'm so glad to get it because I can't find it on Diamond Art Club's site anymore. So it's possibly, you know, not there. I don't know. But um, this was one of his earlier pieces for Diamond Art Club. And I was so glad to get it. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. I'll zoom in as much as I can. That's good. So that space for reflection. I mean, a million people have unboxed it, I know, but it's pretty. Like it, just it. Mean, it just means a lot to me because they are moving to a cabin in New Mexico. And, um, you know, they, uh, okay. Oh, well, it's new enough where you get the sticker. So that's nice. Um, here is the sticker sheet. But this was back in the day when Diamond Art Club started the whole sticker thing. And um, they're not individual, but that's not a problem for me. I don't kit up this way. Again, in diamond painting, there's no one way to kit up. But I just wanted to see it. So, yeah. She, uh... And it's okay if I rip the bag because I don't store my diamond paintings in the bag or the box. 
So let me roll it back. I've been wanting to see this in person for a long time. You guys know all about Diamond Art Club. Their canvases are second to none. Um, nice velvety backs. <clears throat> I just wanted to see it. But again, they're doing, obviously, they're moving to a cabin in New Mexico, so their whole theme in the cabin is going to be cabin-like, right? Okay, it is horizontal. Oh, that's gonna be so perfect for him. Look at that beautiful cabin on the water. They're not gonna be on the water, but I <laughs> love it. I really do, and I think he will too. So it's got 44 colors, two ABs, I may bling it out a little bit more, but like in nature scenes and landscapes, I really don't do a whole lot of blinging because I just believe to you know believe in staying true to what the company has thought about being appropriate. Um, you know, you've got a cabin in the mountains on the water. I may put some in the water, but at the same time, I don't want to just bling it out totally. But um, here are the drills. So that's what they are. Again, I'm not going to keep you here for 19 hours, but um, that's going to be gorgeous for him and his wife, and uh, I'm going to be very proud to do it and frame it for them. And again, it's going to be a couple years till he retires, so that'll give me plenty of time <laughs> to do this. All right, guys, that's everything in my retreat box. Can you believe I had to split it up into a two-part series? That is how generous and kind everyone was and I'm just I'm very blessed and very thankful that I got to be a part of this got to be on the planning committee for this and we're already planning for next year also let me answer a question for some people because people have commented on my last video regarding the retreat anyone can join a retreat you just have to get in there quickly in order to put your down payment down you don't have to be a YouTube creator nothing like that everyone is welcome i made so many friends that were not youtubers that's not what it's all about it's about getting people together that love to craft and that's what we're all about so anyone is welcome if you want to message me on instagram i'm the principal painter if you want to write me a message uh, on youtube i'm happy to answer any questions regarding these retreats but to go on a retreat again um just message me and I'll give you information on dates and where to go to sign up. You don't have to be a YouTube creator. We are all friends and again, we all love to craft. So that being said, guys, that's what I've got for you on this Thursday evening. I'll leave you with this in a world. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Can, I, can I say it? Can sure. I say it for you? <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> Here we can go. I say, can I say it real quick? In a world where your wife needs a diary with a key on it, <laughs> this is a principal painter's husband, and I have the second key. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. And by the way, if you appreciate crazy husbands in videos, unboxings, whipping chats, I do go live on Mondays at 6 o'clock. Um, geez, if they're just finding my channel, they're going to think we're both crazy, I honey. I have to do it. I, have to I do it. know. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I have to do it. Anyhow, um, if you liked what you saw tonight, sans the end, um, please consider subscribing and hitting that red subscribe button on the bottom right. Why anyone at this point would want to subscribe is beyond me, but maybe you do. I don't know. Um, and hit the bell to the right to see more crazy videos come up. Um, I promise in my lives and my whip and chats, um, Marlon is not as active, so that's always a good thing. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off. Get the key, guys. Get the second key, that's all I gotta say. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>